सो है एवरी वन होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट आई डिस्कस ऑल अबाउट द एम एल एच एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस नाउ आई एम डिस्कसिंग मोर अबाउट द एम एल एच एस एस इफ यू हैव नॉट फॉलो दैट पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एम पुटिंग दैट इन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन गो चेक दैट आउट एंड नाउ मूविंग वन टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट विच इज एम एल एच एस एस सो सो इन एम एल एच यू आर गोइंग टू कन्फ्रंट टू एस एस विच विल बी टेक्निकल वन एंड थ्री एस एस विच विल बी नॉन टेक्निकल वन सो यू आर गोइंग टू आंसर अकॉर्डिंगली सो दैट Uh, your application gets selected in a large number of applications so let's get started so there here are some general points you have to keep in mind like your essay should be original and specific to you put it you as well because as you are writing those essays in the interviewer or the reviewer does not know you well so anything you write in the essay the reviewer is going to know you well from that particular essay so write uh, try to write those essays as much as original so the other thing is don't use the words and acronyms which are not very common so uh, there are some situations and words which are not very common in other regions because your reviewer may be from any region maybe india maybe europe or london so try to write uh, the situation the words which are very common in every field every region i mean so so the next thing is uh, do some background research about the program the track you are choosing because your essay may change diversely based on your track which you are choosing if you are choosing for open source track so it would be more inclined towards open source if you are choosing software engineering track it would be more applied to the core source project which we are doing with some companies so be more specific and stop writing incomplete sentences which leave the reviewer in questions for example you are writing some uh, thing like uh, you have done a project which helps students so how it is helping the students it uh, it leaves the reviewer with the questions so try to write it complete like it is helping students in getting some job opportunities or something like this so do you have grammatical er don't have grammatical errors and use uh, grammarly instead so do not commit grammatical errors because these put a negative eff effect on your application so use grammarly and the next point is uh, take 2 3 days at least to review them I have a clear picture of what you are writing before, so that you get uh, exactly what you want to write and convey to the reviewer. So take time while writing these essays. Don't complete in one day. So the next point is try to reach the world limit. Uh, try to reach a three fourth of the world limit at least, because you are going to get selected in a large amount of applications. So you have to write something and make your application different from others. So and. with the application only they are going to get to know you better so that uh, they they can match you with the potential pod or team so write as much as possible and try to write things simple as much as possible no need to add some filler sentences write things as simple as possible get a essay a review before uh, applying with uh, from any past fellow because it get uh, gives a pre, uh, correct perception like that how your essays are exactly So the next uh, technical question uh, briefly describe what this code sample does so the word limit for this particular question is 20 word limit so the uh, i'm just putting one format out you can follow your own formats so in this particular question you can write like about your code sample like what exactly is your code sample if it is a social media site so write it is a social media site then you have to write the text text like it is built over top of monstack uh, it is having a uh, react mongo and what exactly features you are providing like you are here you user can post their stuffs they can like post they can chat with each other maybe all the features you can put over here then why you built the particular project and whom you are uh, going to help for example in social media project uh, if i'm talking about so in social media uh, it is going to connect people around the globe in pandemic times it all so help many so try to write your uh, motivation and the other thing is do give them some future scopes of your project if there are any because every project has some scope of improvements so you should be knowing your project well that where we can improve the particular project so if you have any future scopes try to write it it also gives you a brownie point project highlights uh, if you have achieved something great with this particular project any achievement any accomplishment then you can write over here uh the general points which you keep, uh, can keep in mind while writing this particular essay is they want to know you technically so when i'm saying this line it particularly means this uh, try to give less emphasis on 
motivational section or uh, social inspiration of this particular project try to write more like how this particular project help uh, is going on technically how the function flow is uh, how the project is structured uh, the code intention uh, structuring etc so you have to put an equal uh, balance between the social motives and the technical side so the next thing you should be keeping in mind is how your code is working inside like how the functional flow is and why you uh, made the code in this particular way and the next thing is any optimization you did in particular statistics of this project like for example you made the ml model 95% accurate and you made the supply chain 70% transparent so this is more like a numerical data so you can always add some numerical data to your essay so that it brushes them up build your own format of essay you don't need to follow this particular one so that's a general point i just wrote so the other things uh, other question is like briefly describe what you learned when you created this code sample so here you can uh, put uh, what you learned when you did this particular code sample it may be the technical inspiration or uh, uh, some social inspiration you have to i think so write the both and try to write a uh, technical ones as much as possible uh, then other thing is the problem face maybe the technical maybe the uh, the social one or maybe like you were busy in uh, getting the data you you have to fetch a lot of data collect a lot of data for this particular project so this can be a problem uh, there could be other technical problems also any bug you faced so you can also write how you solved the particular problem because when you're writing a problem you should always put a solution for the same like how you solved this problem be more specific about the concepts you learned like if you have learned something then be more specific like you learned this 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 and this particular concept so that they can get you know that you have a true understanding of the language you chose for this particular track so general points for this particular section is try to be up to the limit if it is 200 then try to be near about 180 at least and try to follow the star approach which basically tells is a approach which we follow while writing something uh, or storytelling maybe uh, it's a kind of like situation task action and result in this particular approach we write more about the uh, situation we faced then tasks with a uh, task we had and the actions we did then the what were the basically the results uh, we had with this particular task we performed so try to follow this particular approach and the other non technical let's move to the other non technical questions so the first question or the third question of the application is why you want to become an mls fellow which is an important question like what exactly is your inspiration or motivation behind becoming an mls fellow the other point you can cover in this is how it is going to help you either in technical or non technical manner how it is going to help in your career how you are going to help others with this particular program because if you are getting something in the community you should always pay back to others so what changes will be there in your career after this program you should be emphasizing more on the examples like how your current situation is and how it is going to improve after this particular program just write your two stories uh, why you want to win this particular program because this program offers many benefits so what exactly is your uh, what exactly is your reason to participate in this so what is the different uh, when it gets in this program and why you chose this particular program should be there in your mind before uh, writing this application so general my uh, general points keep uh, to be kept in mind is no one knows you better so can be yourself explain every line with example and your current situation also write specific to your track it, if it is an open source track i put more of uh, emphasis is on the open source part like how it is going to help in your open source journey and if it is software engineering track try to put a more emphasis over the closed source projects and how you are going to interact with companies and all this stuff justify what you are writing for example you are writing that you are a passionate person about your work so try to write like how you are passionate how you just demonstrated before and don't write your essays generic like don't write like i am a good passionate enthusiastic person so that make this essay so generic it's because you are going to be getting selected in a large number so when you are writing generic essays your uh, chances to getting accepted in the program also decreases because uh, everything gets common so it's difficult for the viewer to choose one so 
give them some points they can choose you the next question is uh, the mlh fellowship is a diverse community that welcomes fellows from a wide range of experiences and backgrounds what perspective or experiences will you bring to the fellowship to strengthen our community so this particular question is about diversity and inclusion so how your experiences and what your learnings that are going to help this particular community these can be technical and non technical experiences you can write both of them because writing a uh, more is never a problem so like mlh loves diversity so how you will be helping to strengthen this up so i am keeping this question to yourself because it's basically your experiences anything else you uh, should know about uh, they should know about you so this is a great question you should always answer this and in this particular question you can pitch yourself out and think you've done that is great your achievements your community work academic performance any student program you had done and they wanted them to know before getting into the program so this is all about the essays uh, i am putting the this short short note uh, repository in the description it